Oh, I look at that. That's so cool. Look at that. That's so cool. Isn't that? Isn't that so cool? All right. Hey, it's me, Ve, 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 and I'm actually pulling real quick. I'm gonna put this door away. Um, but right now I'm just going to like clear out some of the vines because I actually don't know what video we're going to be doing today, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what anomaly or mod we're gonna be checking out. Um, so I guess we could. Let's see. So we've done something. Oh, uh, was it? What did we do last time? Was it? I don't know, we did weapons and armor before. We haven't done any world gen yet. Let's go through here. See if there's any emergency mod review. What? Active emergency mod from nearest okay, drop pod. I haven't gotten this before. How do we emergency mod review? Uh, let's just try going into like one of these things. I guess we just. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we just, just, just go. All right, so here we are back. <laughs> this what version of Minecraft is? This is like 1.7, 1.7. Yeah. So two things we'll do. First of all, there's no no showcase world, and I'm also in creative. Now over here, I think I'm 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 pretty sure I know what this is. <laughs> if you've been around my channel for a while, or you just kind of watched a few of my more popular videos, uh, you'll know I love HPM's Nuclear Craft, and I believe this is in fact yeah, this is HPM's. Yeah, this is definitely HPM's nuclear card. Uh, I'm going to stop doing the acting part for a second, because I wanted to say something. This is the 1.7 version. So this is actually the, uh, hold on, what does it say? This is the, uh, the james 2s NTM Space Fork. So, yeah, we can go to space in this, basically. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, also, the sun looks really nice, too. Uh, but this is also the 1.7 version. And I play on 1.12 version, the extended version. And this might be called the extended version. There's actually a lot of features that it doesn't have that this version has. For example, this thing, what is this even? Like, glyphids. Okay, this is a glyphid hive. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. I like these blocks down here. So, yeah, there's this, that thing. Um, which is in the 1.12 version for some reason. Um, but anyways, so I'm actually going to check out what this thing is, because there's also a lot of structures I haven't seen yet. And if there's something that I'm like, oh, this is really cool, uh, there's a potential that it was just added. Okay, so this is just like rails. Um, but there's potential it's just part of the normal mod, and I just don't know because I don't play with this mod. The, uh, the normal, the actual just regular version. Okay, anyways, back on, back, back on track to the video. So, we are going to be going to the moon, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that right here. What was that? Sounded like they're like a like um like a bomb being set. So we are going to need to go to missiles and satellites. Despite being called missiles and satellites, it is actually where you find rockets. Um, so let's see, we need the building yeah, vehicle assembly base. The VAB. Now, um, fun fact: the planets in this are the same as the ones from Kerbal Space Program. So that's kind of fun. Uh, let's see, we don't need much here. We just need this, and so you just simply right click on here. We need landing capsule. Oh, sorry. Fuel tank. Thrusters. Some. This mod is like very new. It just came out like a couple days ago. So some things are probably not um, fully finished. So you do that. Boom. Rocket. You can actually see it built real time. And here's a fun thing you can do. Grab this. Grab a bunch of them. Place them in here. And now it's really tall. And you can do that a lot. But we're not going to because that is actually a really bad way to make a rocket. You hear that duck? There's a duck over here. These ducks. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm getting distracted. Oops. Um, so let's see. Now, we need to get the, what are they called? Data. Mm, let's see. They're somewhere, trust me. Hold on. Cut this part out too. Here we go. Alright, so here's this. Um, and we'll just go to the moon in front, which is just the moon basically. Um, actually, you know what, let's go to EVE, because EVE is really cool. Um, all these planets are actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we'll go here, we'll place in, we want to go from Earth to EVE, and the trip is possible, so we'll craft this thing like that. And we'll grab our hard drive here, and we need the, well we need two things. We need a star dart, which is like radar, but for stars, and we need the, pr oopsies, pro pr drive processor. I'm going to turn down the sounds here real quick. Okay, there we go. Um, so we'll just get rid of this. So we have this, which I believe is like a multi-block thing, so you need to like build it out of other blocks, probably. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, we go here, we need our EVE drive, we place that in there, it'll load the height map. And I think, okay, maybe not. Um, never mind that. 
Uh, so now we have our, okay, hold on. we need our Eve one. So we'll go Eve, and Eve is the uh, in-game version of Venus. So we do that, and we have the target coordinates. Lovely. So, now what we need to go to this processor, this drive processor, and we're going to grab some batteries real quick, because you'll be needing a handful of batteries here. Uh, so let's grab two batteries, put one in here, put the processor in here, and you actually clone them, which is pretty useful. Um, well, I would imagine. And we need a processing chip, or a drive processor, and there are three tiers of them. Um, I don't actually know if the tiers are like for different things, like if you need, oh, this is probably, probably tier two, because you see the little two blue dots there, that, that probably corresponds. Um, anyways. Now we can get rid of all this stuff, and now we can launch our rocket. So, um, so what is that? We just take the rocket launch pad. This rocket launch pad is actually really cool. So let's place this down. I think it'd be really funny if I didn't cut these parts out, and then it was like in the actual video, and so you guys are just watching me um, in silence saying to cut this part out of the video. Oh, look at this. Uh, this is supposed to cut out. That's fine. But look, you can see the planets. I'm actually going to just leave that part cut out. I'm going to talk about that later. There we go. Okay, so I spent way too long trying to figure out how to place this. Just place it a few blocks in the air. Oh, that's very big. So we'll take our rocket, place that there, and we will put our Eve processor in there, whatever this hard drive, and put the battery in there. And we need hydrazine. So I don't know how you actually get hydrazine. Um, I never um, like play these mods like actually. I just do them in creative mode to like blow stuff up. So oh yeah, look, also look at the moon. Look at those cool planets there. Let's see. That's probably Venus, or, yeah, I guess that'd probably be Venus, maybe that's Mars. I don't know, I don't actually know how accurate this is to real life, um, sky, but in real life the bright one would probably be Venus, and the other one would probably be Mars, or maybe Jupiter, I can't remember which one's more bright. Anyways, uh, we'll go up here, and you can actually climb this, it's just like a ladder, oh look at that, that's cool. I wonder if you can see the tie game star, no, okay. Now then you go here, you press commit to launch. And just right click to enter. Um, F5 mode. As you just press space. Now there's no countdown like there is on um, Galacticraft. Uh, it just, you just launch straight up. But then download the terrain. Go here. Oh, look at that. Purple planet. Again, if you played Kerbal Space Program. Uh, so you just jump down here. And it's all automated. You don't have to do any like maneuvering or anything. You actually can't do anything like with uh, Galacticraft. Um, it is kind of similar to Galacticraft, but it's also not because it's, you know, it's, it's its own thing. We'll go down here, just like that, and you tend to land in oceans, because the oceans are the flat areas. If you see a big flat area, uh, don't do that, because some of them have, like, lava oceans. So, don't do that. We'll just jump out of this here. There we go. Here's a bunch of smoke. And check this out. There's actually a custom soundtrack for all the planets. Look at that. It's like a, a um, like a sunrise, or sunset. Or sunrise. Yeah. Look at this. Look at how cool. And there's different gravity as well. This has kind of, whoa. Oh yeah, I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but this has like uh, sort of like higher gravity, so it's you know, like you know you'll fall faster. Um, but anyways, there's not really um, like a ton on these planets um, that I've seen. We'll just wait for a second here because Eve has something really cool. For the time being, look at this cool ice biome here. There's like ice on the ground. What's this biome called? Um, it is Seismic Plains. Hmm. And oh, so this is not ice. It's rock. That's actually pretty cool. That's probably why it's called seismic planes. And uh, I believe also on these planets, the like crashed spaceships spawn as well. We'll also here, we'll do slash give. Oh yes, there it is. Okay, hold on. All right, so this is really cool. Okay. And I took a really long time to find this thing. Let's move over here very slowly because this, this, there's no elytra. This is 1.7. There's no elytra. There's no other stuff. Anyways, here's this. This is the like electric geyser or something. Oh, I'll wait for it to um wait for it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, never mind. Um I was trying to get myself is down here. And there is a lovely texture block, geyser electric dot name. And so you're gonna splice down a whole bunch of these, like this. And make a bunch of uh, electric geysers. Look at that, that's so cool! Isn't that? Isn't that so cool? That's so cool. Okay, let's go to another planet. Now sometimes this glitches out and it turns the sun into a black hole. Okay, now here we go. Kerbin, Mun, Minimus, Juna, Moho, Trez, Eve, Ike, Lathe. Let's go to Lathe. I haven't been here yet. Yeah, look at that. That jewel? 
Should be. It's a shame we can't go to Jewel. Okay, this planet. No offense, but this planet kind of looks kind of ugly. I think the the water's too blue. Look at this. Look at that's a cool cool thing here. Okay. Well, anyways, you get the kind kind of get the gist of this mod. There's also a spacesuit somewhere here. Uh, be here. There's yeah this thing. Grab this. I think there's another one too. Yeah. Purple one. Trench master or something. Oh, well, I gotta see this too. This part. This is probably part of the just part of the mod. So let's take a peek at this real quick. That's really cool. I like that. Anyways, uh, spacesuit with like cat ears or whatever. Oh, you yeah, go really fast. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we'll just go back to the. Oh my goodness! Look at this thing. Hold on. How did they get this generation? This is so cool. Oh, the whole generation is kind of strange. It's like, that's weird. There's something over here that's red and it has piqued my interest because there is a tumor thing that was in the trailer. Sulfurous stalagmite. That is not a sulfurous stalagmite. What are you talking about? Oh my goodness, it's lagging so much. There's also like something in the water. Flesh, okay. Interesting. Let's go to the- I did not blow up any nukes that time. I forgot to. But, that was a pretty cool space mod. And, um, you're supposed to be able to like, you know, like, see the nuke explode from like, the other planets. Like, if you blow it up on the moon, you can see like, the moon like, explode. Um, yeah. Uh, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure. So, anyways, um, thanks for watching to the end of the video. I guess, but these videos haven't been getting very many views, and I doubt very many people have been watching to the end. So, you just watch till the end of the video. Big thanks to you. Give yourself a pat on the back. You are a very good person, in my eyes. <laughs> if that means anything to you, I don't know. Um, I, I, don't, I need to do something, like, fun at the end of the videos, you know? Because I'm just gonna, like, clear out vines, basically, to unlock more of this for the lore. Because there's the lore to the series. I'm gonna have, like, some mini storylines. I think I was gonna do more storyline in this video, but I kind of forgot to, because today is an emergency mod review because there's that new mod that came out, and so I wanted to show it off. Um, so if you, if you watch the end of this video, thanks, and I'm not going to tell you to subscribe, or like, or comment, but, I mean, I'm just saying, if you want to, I mean, you can. Anyways, that's the end of the video, and I'll see you next week.